What? Another one? Come on. Hi, we're Quentin and Curious Williams. My name is James. And I already posted today. I usually don't post twice in a day. I barely post twice in a week. But, I've been tagged. And it's kind of a special tag. This is the Stay Gold Book Tag. It's an original tag created by Mild Rumpus. And Mild Rumpus uh, created this to celebrate getting a thousand subscribers. Uh, he and I started at about the same time, so I've been pleased to see uh, his success and how well he's doing. Um, this is a tag that's inspired by S.E. Hinton's classic young adult novel, The Outsiders. Of course, when I was a, a kid, this was a, a movie in, in theaters that was very popular. I, I saw it. I liked it. I read the book. I liked it. I read Tex. I read Rumblefish. I, I liked those books. So, yeah, and apparently now there is a, a Broadway musical based on The Outsiders. Uh, now, now, I just want to tell a, a brief little anecdote. I have, I have a, a, an old friend um, from back when I lived on Long Island who, who has, a, he, he was a very good uh, writer, and he wrote a young adult novel called uh, The Novices, which if you like young adult fantasy, which I generally don't, um, but you should check it out because it's good. Um, anyway, he, he runs a, uh, a video game studio. He's a very smart, very talented guy. Um, and it's called The Outsiders. And uh, uh, we're only really in, connected on Facebook now. Uh, but he posted a picture of uh, his company's sign outside their building a while ago. And he said, it's happening. And I said, well, you're finally mounting that S.E. SE Hinton-themed uh, musical that you've been talking about? Of course, I was joking, not knowing that people were actually working on that. So, that long digression out of the way, let me, uh, since he, since old Mild Rumpus was, was kind enough to tag me, I'm going to do this tag. Um, and they're all named for characters in the novel and film The Outsiders. So, uh, prompt number one, Pony Boy Curtis, share some YouTube booktubers who have been especially supportive of your channel. Um, Randy Ray uh, linked to me early on and said some nice things about my channel. Hannah at Hannah's Books was, I think, the first person to uh, tag me in a tag, which was very kind. So I will, I will name those two. Uh, prompt number two, Daryl Darry Curtis. Share a channel that has inspired or somehow influenced your channel. So... Old Mild Rumpus, uh, named Mark at Book Time with Elvis. I have to say, we have the same origin story because he, he mentioned a video that Mark did uh, at the beginning of the year encouraging people to try creating a booktube channel. That inspired him, inspired me. So I'm going to say Mark at Book Time with Elvis as well. Uh, number three, Soda Pop Curtis. Share a booktube channel that makes you laugh and brings you joy. Um, I'm going to say KD Books. Uh, this is a, a Welsh booktuber named Kieran. And uh, it, it, he's been on kind of a, a, a spiritual journey of late um, and has uh, uh, a, a converted or reverted to uh, Islam. It's been very interesting to watch, but he has a, a history of uh, making very funny booktube videos. Uh, one I remember in particular was... <laughs> Um, where he uh, he ranked classic literature by their based on the ISBN. That was pretty funny. He he's very funny. Um, so that's Kieran at, at KD Books. Number four, Keith Two Bit Matthews, recommend some new to you booktube channels that you enjoy watching. So a couple that have been around for a while but that are new to me that I like are the Grape Jelly Library. And that reading guy, um, they've both been around for a while. Um, I uh, I also like Book Chat with Pat. She's new. I think she started about the same time as me, but we're both new. Um, but she's really great. I know she's tagging this. She's tagging a lot of stuff um, and uh, has a great channel. Let's see. Uh, Dallas Dally Winston. 
What was something that you initially found tough as a booktube newbie? Share how you overcame it. Um, for me, it was um, keeping going once I started a video. Uh, I, <laughs> my early videos, it doesn't, if you watch them, you'll be surprised to hear me say that I had to go and that I, <laughs> that I would often start them over and over again because I would uh, get to a point and I'd stumble or I'd, I'd be grasping for a word for too long, and I'd be like, oh, this is terrible. I have to start again. Uh, clearly, I've gotten over that, because now I just keep going. But anyway, um, I, gu I guess it was... My answer is having um, the courage to just keep going, even though I'm uh, getting garbled and wandering around like a crazy person. Uh, you know... I watched Criminali recently. He did a video where he said um, that sometimes he will go back and start from the beginning and, and film his entire video again if he makes a mistake. And that, that's the kind of thing that I was doing. Um, now I, I'm less inclined to do that. Anyway, uh, and that's why I'm so much more successful than Criminali. Anyway, let's see. Steve Randall, what is your favorite video on your channel? I don't know that this is the best video on my channel, but it's one that I'm fond of. No one, few people seem to enjoy it as much as I do. Uh, but it is the video called The Final Reckoning, the top three, top ten science fiction movies, videos, video. Not for everyone, as I said. Hey, number seven. Uh, Sherry, Cherry Valance. Uh, hold on, before I move on, I should make a case for that video. So, um, <clears throat> there, there are three uh, larger booktubers who, uh, was Steve Daniel, Michael K. Vaughan, and Grammaticus Books, who have kind of an ongoing series where they will each post, post their uh, top ten choices in various genre films. Uh, war movies, uh, fantasy movies, uh, um... Uh, sword and sorcery movies so they they did one on sci-fi and I said and I made one to rank their various videos in terms of which one was best I, don't know, I thought it was funny okay Sherry Cherry Valance share a channel that you enjoy watching outside of booktube I've mentioned her before I'm gonna say Kendrick Gaylord has a, a very interesting channel about architecture and uh, design, also about, it's also kind of about a popular culture. She also talks about stamps a lot. Um, little known fact, my father was a professional stamp dealer. So I'm also sort of interested in stamps. Uh, I will also mention a, a guy who hasn't posted for a while, but I really like his videos. Uh, a musician from New Jersey. Uh, his channel is called Frankie 12 String. And uh, he sort of started out doing old-time music and country blues and gradually evolved into Italian folk music. Um, so he's got years and years of videos, um, and uh, you can see various fluctuations in his facial hair and his weight and the people he's hanging out with. And uh, But he's he's just a really good musician who plays some currently very unpopular styles of music, but he's real good at it, so. Uh, Frankie 12 string. Uh, let's see. Uh, Johnny Cade. Discuss the effect that Booktube has had on you as a reader. Uh, well, I d definitely wouldn't be reading Anne of Green Gables this week had I not committed myself to this uh, ridiculous Gable Quill um, event, but I invented it, so... I mean, it's got me to be, think about the books that I'm reading a little bit more, uh, think about what I have to say about them. You know, I don't do such a good job of expressing it, but I, I, I try. So I, I hope that I can say it's made me more thoughtful as a reader and uh, and that it's, it's got me to be a little more... Um, uh, a little more uh, broad in what I what I will read. Number nine, sunsets share a piece of advice or wisdom. 
Well, I will say, if you want to try it, if you want to try being on BookTube, do it. Just give it a try. Um, you don't need to buy a bunch of books. You don't need to learn how to edit. You just need your phone and uh, get started like that. Get started like me. And you can be as big and successful and influential as I currently am. Tag number 10, stay gold. Tag others. I'm going to tag uh, Brian, the bookish Texan. I don't think he was tagged. I'm going to tag that reading guy who I mentioned earlier. I think everyone else I've mentioned um, has been tagged by Mr. Mild Rumpus. Um, since he said that she was his patron saint, I put up my first edition of Patti Smith's M Train right here. Um, good book, not as well known as... Uh, as just kids, but but worth reading if you like Patty Smith. Okay, uh, thanks for watching. Talk to you later.